Hello, we're fishy and squishy. Hi. I, I'm, I'm fishy and and squishy. Um, I don't know where you are. I'm behind you. What? Behind you. Creepster. I am behind you. Creepster. Hi. Yeah. So, uh, we made a barn. <laughs> a pretty barn. Okay. GP made the barn. And then. No, we made the barn. I furnished it. I furnished I did it. the floor plans and the stalls. And the floor on the second floor. The floor on the second floor. <laughs> the second floor. <laughs> the second floor floor. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. And voila. Uh, voila? Voila? Voila. You it sounded like you said koala but starting with a V. That's what I said, woman. Don't get it out. So give me a tour. Give me I a tour. Don't. Um Where am I? The, cow, the the cows are there. Who am the, I? The piggies are there. And then and then the, the colored sheep are here. Why are and they the colored? Brown, and the brown sheep are here. Why why are they colored? The better question is why are the brown sheep separated from the colored ones? Obviously they're better. Elitist. So, okay, we have colors because I originally wanted just a couple colors because I wanted to be all creative. Uh, looks like you got all of them. And then I went a little crazy and bred them and then dyed them and then bred them more and dyed them more. And you then... killed the bread. That's all I heard. What? You killed bread. You bred them and you dyed them. <laughs> I made sheep. You know what you should tell them? You know, you know what you should tell them? What? About your timber mod. You should tell them about that. <laughs> No, I think you better tell them about Fine. that. Fine. So, she laid out the squares where we originally had six pens down here. And I, I... I think she made only the first floor and did all this fancy sideways log thing. And then when I made the second floor, I had to put them down the same way and if I misplaced one because it's so hard to place them, I had to chop it down with my fist. Now, the timber mud, if you take down with an axe one block, all the blocks of wood, log, log all the logs connected to it would be destroyed as well. So I almost destroyed the whole place because of a glitch that my hand was destroying all of the barn and this happened like uh seven times or so until he yelled at me to uninstall the timber mod yes literally yelled yes wow you are all up in my face i'm all up in your one eye <laughs> so anyway what's on the second floor a bunch of dysfunctional chickens. Why they gotta be dysfunctional? And the storage area. They're dysfunctional because if they get too far into this corner, it seems that they trigger. <laughs> they uh, trigger this one is part of thing. the step. Yeah. I, I don't think it's alive anymore. I think yeah, it oh. suffocated. But. Uh, so we made it up here, it being the chicken coop, and at one point we had very many, and they started to get out and flutter down, and I had to come and eradicate, eradicate. I remember that. The chicken population. You walked and now, out, and one of them got stuck on the pressure plate. Yep. And let all the others out. Yep. And you were AFK, and I was AFK. And when I came back, you said, turn around. <laughs> and I kept not turning around, and you kept saying, turn around. 
And they finally, when I turned everywhere. around, there just so happened to be a chicken fluttering down, down there. And so I had to kill the ones that got out. Did we have a fence at that time? Is that why? No. We did? No. Yes? We did no. Yes? Yes, no. Yes. Because we had furnaces all up in front of this. Right. And you and know why we had furnaces? Jumped out. <laughs> that is a lot of clay. Furnaces to make all the brick. That's which we did legit. Half slabs. We explored so much area. We lagged the system <laughs> searching through rivers for so much clay. I don't want to remember it. Too bad. Uh, I'll actually do the calculations later. Do them now. No, well, don't do them now. I tried to do them while we were working and it, it still failed, so yeah. He kept saying we needed 64 more pieces of clay. Yes. So I would run out and get 64 more pieces of clay, smelt them, turn them into brick blocks, and then it wasn't enough because it was only, what, 16? Something like that. Um, each clay ball makes a clay, makes, makes a brick. And four bricks makes one block. So essentially, every block <gasps> of clay chicken! makes baby a chicken. What? I made a baby chicken. Where'd it go? It's glitching out. I see it. It's. Well, that was mean. <laughs> I like the way they run and look at you. Okay. Anyway, go on with your explanation. I forget. Something about. Your face. Your mom. Aww. Why are my sounds off? I don't know. Uh, so you like it? Do you like it? Do, do, do you like it? Do, 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 do you I like, like it? it? Do you like it? How many times have I told you, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay, so now that we're done exploring most Chicken land. Of, wow. What happened here? I don't know. It was like right there. <laughs> oh, baby chicken! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> it suffocated on nothing. Uh, let's go show them the power plant. Ooh, 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 sunrise. Power plant. I can't, I can't find the hole. <laughs> there Seriously? we go. So, this idea came from okay, someone wait. I watched. First, we should no. explain. No, we should no. explain something first. We should explain something first. Let me explain That's the power plant, how the this all came about. I started this world in the middle of a jungle and I just so happened to trek through the jungle and land in a, a village made of sandstone. A desert village. And yes, a desert village. And over there... Did you there, kill them? Did you kill them? Let me finish. I will. So over there, obviously it was a temple. And I Looks like it's still the temple, there. and I got all the treasures out. I got the dynamite. I didn't, you know, blow up. So, after exploring the temple, I was going into the village with every intention of killing them and <laughs> destroying their homes, which Me? is what I'm famous for doing in my little group of friends who play Minecraft. Infamous. I <laughs> I took all the doors off the houses and I started to tear them all down and the villagers all ran for their lives. And then I was like, wait a minute. We can now trade with them. So I put a door back on that one over there. 
and that's I, the only house left. That is the only house that survived my destruction. You are so excited And it is right now, now our storage shed. This was the well. I obviously, you know, we we foolproofed it so that if anyone, me, were to fall into it, we wouldn't go Speech. falling to our death. Um, so we made that the storage shed, and then I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to need villagers to trade with. So I wrangled them up, and I put them in a small little house that was over here. And over here, it was just this, you know, generic little five by six house. And there was a huge fence in front of it, and there was only four villagers. So there was my four. And then over at the temple, there was four more villagers. So I wrangled them up inside the temple. And then this guy, where'd you go? I oh, you're, I go? you're running up the thing. Okay. That guy running to the fountain, he decided to turn the little place into a power plant, which would power. Yes, the little one, not that thing. Yeah, not that the thing. That's that's phase two. The original which little is, uh, five by six house is phase where. Phase two is actually failing right now. <laughs> the lights are still on. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe it's raining. No, we there just... are clouds. I can see clouds and sun. Fine. But he made a, a power plant that powered the fountain. And then over here for our farm, we have lights as well. Um, so. so the way it works is the way it's supposed to work. Where are the pumpkins? There we go. Um. The way it's supposed to work, there's redstone connecting to these. When the redstone turns off, they turn off. The redstone is linked all the way back to the power plant. Used to be back there, but now it's over here. And the power plant is run by eight villagers now. Used to be four. And for some reason, they all want to be indoors right now. Oh, there we go. And now everything turns off. Yes. So the idea is if any one of them is outside, which practically happens during the day, then the lights turn off. And at night, they all go into their little home. They trigger pressure, yeah, pressure switches. Pressure plates? There we go. The redstone torches actually do nothing. The pressure plates link together and basically turn this light on, which I don't know if I can do this without totally destroying it. Here we go. Ow. Oh, now I can't get out of here. Oh, well. Um, pressure plate turns that on. So if both of these are on, these turn off. Which turns this torch and so on and so forth. It narrows down four into two into one. Whee. He oh, no. worked on this thing for ow days and hours and days. Too and many hours. hours and days. So basically all of that four villagers turn into this torch being on which lights that turns this one off and that's one side the other side works too the other side is actually off right now that means everyone is inside I can't destroy this because it's another wire that I made I can't get out of here I'm trapped Here we go. So while he was making this, I was a little bored because I don't understand red, you know, redstone, whatever, dust and wiring and whatever. I don't either. I originally wanted to go look for a jungle temple. I ended up finding another village. 
and we brought them all over from the village. Shall we show them the remains of the the track that we made? What track? The transportation tunnel that we made. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. This was the worst part of this. Um, and it's my fault because we had a perfectly fine village not too far from this. Well, before that, <laughs> the poor villagers over there, we turned... Oh, oh, because I turned monsters on because I have a spawner and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, zombies killed the villagers that we had over there. It was terrible. It was it was very heart wrenching. <laughs> so long story short, we went to the other village and brought back we needed eight. Thirteen. We brought thirteen villagers back. We lost one along the way and it was the one that was selling melon seeds. But luckily I purchased some and we Before have melons he... now. Because yes. we explored a mine shaft and found none. So we actually traded for them. But anyway, um, we also put two on each side and let them mate. <laughs> Try Which, to. Attempt. Yes, attempt to mate. That took almost as long as actually getting them here. <laughs> Which is the worst memory I have to date. It all worked out, but we made a two-block high trench from one village to the other and we originally were just going to use sand and towards the end we just were like you know what screw it just use whatever we have in our inventory and not only that so we still haven't finished tearing down the trench the biggest problem with it <laughs> was that corners in, in order to speed it up we used water because water. They are very stubborn creatures, the villagers, and water will just push them along against their will, which is fine. Um, so we connected all of their houses with this trench and then flooded them all into one spot using something like water, three buckets of water. And seven signs or so. No, 16 or something. I don't know. A lot of we signs. Had, yeah, we had three or four buckets of water. And then Because the signs. placement... You could go over here. <laughs> the placement of the water mattered so much. And it actually ruined it a lot. I might have put it too high. And they would float to the top and then jump over and run away and that was annoying because we couldn't punch them we couldn't kill them though we <laughs> wanted to we wanted we yeah we were getting really frustrated and then uh we actually we started that throwing day. we started throwing snowballs at them but if we were too close you kept right clicking on them to trade with them that was annoying too <laughs> so uh this is a lot of stacks of sand Yep. And then I thought water on ice would make them go faster, but that's only items, not mobs. So, yeah, I tried to keep it as flat as possible getting to our actual village. Ooh, sunset. I don't see the sun. You don't see the changing sky either? Nope, I have no clouds, none of that. I can't, my laptop can't handle it. It's not a gaming laptop. Funny, you're playing games on it. And that's all you do. Stop. Gamer girlfriend. Hi. My phone is overheating. <laughs> Better your phone than your laptop. Oh, my laptop's getting hot too. Oh, wait, you're charging it in the... Dude, plug it into the wall. I didn't, I only brought the USB plug. Fail. Your Fail. Face. There may be some chunks of, ooh, clay. <gasps> clay. We don't need it anymore. But it's here. You don't know that. 
Poo sheep. We don't need any more poo sheep. Well, I'm just saying. There are tons of them now. I remember searching for them in another server and never finding them. Found three pink sheep, but no... No brown poo sheep. Yes. I forgot I have a sword. The better to kill chickens with, my dear. <laughs> it's got knockback! I forgot about that! Did the chicken go flying? <laughs> yes, it went flying and died. <laughs> like, it... It died and its corp flew. Corp? Oh. Corpse. Singular corp. <laughs> uh... So now this thing is lit up at night. And those extra wires that I had just override the system to either turn it on or off. So one takes two to turn on and the other takes one to turn off because I'm cool like that. Cool like that. So after we... We got to about this point. Where are you? We got to about this point, and we started having problems. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Something happened, and the villagers got out, and this is where we lost they the melon spilled. guy. Because they all wanted to go into the, do oh, into the door. Put your and... sword away before you kill somebody. Huh? Put your sword away before you kill somebody. <laughs> so we lost... A couple of testificates. Villagers. It was right there because they had to go up one block and I couldn't use water. So we were pushing them, we were putting doors in places to try and get them to go in that direction. He ended up putting water thinking that it would push them and he put the source a little too high so they just, you know, they spiraled up and got oh. out. I opened the fence and they all ran in there and then we got four on this side and <laughs> yeah. we ended up getting four on this side and Bad the memories. last two that we needed on the other side and the rest of them we put over into the safe house over here. Oh, the safe house. With an iron golem, and I don't even know why we have an iron golem. We don't have monsters on, so nothing's going to spawn. Just in case you turn them on, because <laughs> last time it happened. They were all fenced in, and apparently zombies came in from the ceiling. <laughs> um, what the? But in here, you'll notice I have put some of them into stalls. If you will, I they are made like livestock. One. Because there was one that I wanted to put in there because I thought he would have been helpful, but I can't remember which one he was. Um, so, this guy. Which one? This blacksmith over here. Why? What's he got? He's got the nine ingots. No, not this one. <gasps> oh yeah, it is this one. This guy is slightly better. But Wait, why still. 13 emeralds for a diamond sword? What? Yeah, I spent that in order to get the second one from him. Oh, uh, okay. So we need to somehow get this the blacksmith guy back into a stall. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. My laptop not. has a mind of its own. Maybe if we talk to him enough, he'll just be persuaded. Well, I originally had them all in their own little stall, and then I was Where'd letting go? go the ones that were useless, like the ones that I needed to... Good luck getting them over this way. I think if we move the doors, they might they might be persuaded to move. So let's do that. If I could trap the rest of them, like in Jez Ball or something, that'd be awesome. In what? Jez Ball? What is a jazz ball? It's a... What are you doing? It's another game. Moving the doors, because maybe they might move more towards the door. Dude, seriously. He doesn't like me. No, one just ran out the other door. And came back. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you have to aim at the corner. Okay, can you push this guy? Because I'm talking to him. You can't push them. They don't want to go this one. into the corner. This one. The one I'm talking to. No, he, they don't want to be pushed. Every time you get them close to the other side of the house, they run away. The one that I'm talking to right now. I know, Dan. You're not pushing him. Push him. Push. See? He moved. He doesn't move away. He just spins. There. He ran away. Now he went back to me. What the? Just relax. Don't do anything. I'm fixing it. Oh, I see. So now I put these ones there. Wow. Those guys are going crazy. The ones that you locked up? Oops. They have a sense of impending doom. Haha! -ha. And now, what are you doing? Nothing. They're not that. It's not that serious. No, we don't like them. They're annoying. What? Those are the ones that have no use but to run Wait, around. But what about the blacksmith? He's outside already. <gasps> Here he is. Okay. So, water. Yes, go in there. Go in there. Yay. Yay. Okay. So now we can let these guys out? If you want. Well, okay. I don't understand <laughs> why you had to put them in a jail cell. Because we don't need them. That's why I let them run around. Because they're of no use to us. That's the nicest thing you've ever done for someone you don't need. I could kill them, but... Yes, you could. Do you want me to? Well, you used to. Okay, knock back. Whee! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's like a game. The other one's mad at you. <laughs> Is he? He just ran in there like, What are you doing to my friends? We don't actually not need them, by the way. Oh, so don't kill them? <laughs> You know, if you trade with them, there's an option to get a better trade. It's now possible. you tell me. Well, that's can how I, I found the other one. Sword? What? Can, can I hit you with my knockback sword? Not in here. In fact, not ever. Whoa, lag! Can I attack the iron golem? No, he'll attack you. You're mean. Give me a flower. I want a flower. I'll <laughs> give you iron. The rip off. Close it. Okay. Um, they can wake up now. Alright, so is this tour done? Yes, this tour is done. I was making a pretty design here. I was making a design here. I remember. And you put that rose bush I, I remember. in the very center. I remember. Okay, we're done. Yes. So, so bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. 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 I see what you did there. <laughs>